Hey guys, welcome back to another Friday right here on the flannel panel. And question totally off topic. How does my comforter flip itself inside out in the middle of the night? Hey guys, so we're answering two questions submitted by two of our subscribers. Uh, the first one is a 16-year-old gay male who is out with his partner for a year and he's closeted. What I can say, being somebody who was closeted of who they really were for so long and just came out, even though you are frustrated with the situation, he is just as frustrated, if not more, because he can't be who he is, he can't be who he wants to be. He has to put on this facade and fake face every single day of his life. So, be patient with him. Uh, if you can, if you feel it is necessary that you need to express your relationship in an out manner, maybe it's not the right time for you to be with this guy. I'm not saying that it has to end completely, I mean there's always down the road, but um, Everyone else kind of said it before me, and I'll just be repeating everyone else, so um, that's all I have to say about that. Um, just be patient, and just know it's also frustrating for him as well. Our second question comes in from a lady who loves her job, her boss is biased, she doesn't want to leave her job, and what should she do? Um, I don't know the situations you're going through, I don't know anything like that. The first thing I would suggest is to get the company's policies and procedures. Um, if you don't know what those are, they are pretty much the company, the company's rule book uh, on how things are to be conducted within the company. Um, I, I would suggest going through and getting as many as you can. There's usually a different one for discrimination, for harassment, sexual discrimination, sexual harassment, equal opportunity, and I can't think of any other ones off the top of my head, but I'm sure there are more. Uh, I would suggest strongly printing them out or emailing them to yourself to physically have them in your hand because when they're electronic, they can change like that in an instant and then everything that was before that will be null and void. Um, so if you have the policies and procedures, that's, that's awesome. Now the first line of the policy will describe the, the aim or the mission. Um, now I have a few samples here, I'll just read off what, what it would entail. Um, the company is committed to providing our employees with a work environment that is free from all types of harassment, including those based on race, color, gender, gender identity, genetic information, disability, sexual orientation, religion, national origin, age, veteran, or marital status. The second bit will be the definition of whatever the policy is about. Uh, a hostile environment is created when there is conduct occurring that a reasonable person would find offensive from the perspective of the complaint and is sufficiently severe and pervasive to alter the conditions of employment and create an abusive working environment. Now an abusive working environment would be where you no longer feel comfortable. Okay, keep scrolling down the policy a little bit and you'll see something along the lines of uh, any employee who believes that the actions, behavior, or words of a manager, coworker, or other individual with whom the employee interacts by nature of his or her job constitute sexual harassment or other forms of discrimination should be reported uh, immediately to his or her manager. How I know that the chain of command goes is it goes worker, which would be you, then your boss, your boss's boss or the manager, and then human resources. If there's a situation that's between two workers, you would go to your boss. If it's between you and your boss, you would go to your boss's boss and then ask for mediation uh, to separate or to resolve something that is going on. Uh, if that no longer works, then you would take it to human resources um, at that point. Before you go to human resources, though, uh, I have two other suggestions or two other um, things that you, sh you could do. Uh, to make your sh your case even stronger. Um, make a log of all the incidences. That would include dates, times, witnesses, um, the incident itself, 
and how you reacted. Um, yeah, keep a log of every single time you feel uncomfortable. It can be even something as simple as somebody brings in a newspaper, you're reading, or, no wait, let me scratch that. Somebody brings in a newspaper, and everyone that you work with is allowed to read the newspaper, except for you. All of a sudden, you no longer get to read the newspaper, it gets thrown in the garbage. If you get that mm, feeling, you know, that ouch, or that, uh, or I want to kill someone, that feeling, that is an indication that something is wrong. Write it down immediately. Um, policies, make a log, okay, the next thing I would suggest writing out is an impact statement. Uh, what that is, is how it makes you feel, or how it's impacted your life within the job and outside of work. It can be anything um, about how you cry yourself to sleep because you feel like crap and how you don't want to come into work because you feel worthless. How it affects your job performance. Not so much the incidences. I mean, you can add, include the incidences as examples, but this is generally on how you feel. Um, actually, I have... I have an impact statement. This isn't a sexual impact statement, it's something else. But that, this doesn't even have examples, it's just, just how I feel and how my life has changed. That will make your case stronger if you have the incident log and an impact statement and the policies and procedures. So from there I think you're all set. I mean, I've dealt with this a few times. If you have any questions further or any need any further advice, I've been through it. You can contact me personally and I'll, I'll walk you through it, I'll be your support system. Just you know, you're not alone. This has happened more times than it has not. And unfortunately, it doesn't get reported all the time. The way things change is if people stand up and say, this isn't right. So, I wish both you guys the best of luck in, in your situations. And if you guys have any other questions or comments or concerns or anything, we do have that form spring. I'll put the link in the, in the sidebar over here. And, uh, you can ask us whatever you you want. It can be something as stupid as, uh, what's your favorite drink? Or something as serious as what we've discussed today. So, I guess I'm out. Uh, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful week, and I will see you next Friday. Bye, guys. Now, that's the way it works here where I live. It's not um, every province, every country, every state. Uh, I know everybody else has different laws and different rules and stipulations on how they handle these things, but that's just a general guide. Um, I completely agree with Grimace that to stand up, fight for the fight, that's the only way that laws change. Excuse me. <laughs> he took the words right out of my mouth.